So we have like this nice little shelf thing and like I'll show you this like mirror thing. Yeah, anyway, so first I wanted to say look how much hair we have. This is all the hair that we have to work with. Um, I'm not sure if you remember my when my hair was cut shorter. Um, basically I had like this much hair, but now over over <laughs> over a year and a half I want to say I think I cut it in June 2014 I got it cut in June 2014 um and now it's past 26 wait two years wait I don't know I'll leave the correct video description video um not video the correct time I cut my hair in the video but like I have something stuck in my eye and it's bothering me Anyway, so I kind of just wanted to show you guys my um, hair progress, and tomorrow I will be getting my hair done again. I'll be getting um, goddess braids that go like this way around my head, so I'll have like separated hair like this, but it'll be big. Um, so you'll see that in whatever video I do next, but this video was basically just an update video. Okay, anyway, into the update video. So when I first got it cut, I liked it, but I also started to wish I had my hair back. But at the same time, I was glad that I only had healthy hair left on my head. So, um, since I had new growth coming in, but my old hair was like flat iron, permed, heat damage, all this other stuff. And I didn't even know that it was all of this stuff until I cut it and I started getting it. Excuse me. And I started getting into researching natural hair, what kind of hair I have. And I found out I have, I want to say 4C hair? Correct me if I'm wrong, because I can't remember at the moment. But I found this really cool website, like the naturalsistas.com website. The cat's meowing. And yeah, so I went from there. I figured out what my hair likes, what it doesn't like. I know my hair likes water. I think everyone's hair likes water at some point, but my hair really enjoys moisture. So it's wet right now, but you can see that it's fluffy and bouncy. When it's dry, it's, let me see if I can find a dry piece that, that dried. It's like brittle. It does not like being dry. <laughs> um, so I need to have like a lot of moisture and things. So for the first month, maybe, a couple months after, I was taking biotin, around 10,000 milligrams, I believe, and this is probably bad, so you shouldn't do this. I would take four of those, sometimes three, sometimes two. Um, most of the time, I only took two, and um, but a lot of times, I took four. And then I researched like hair, skin, and nails, um, hair affinity. I didn't try any of those, I got the biotin instead, and then I bought biotin shampoo. I bought so much biotin, I think that's what led to like the first initial growth, but then after that it kind of got stuck, because it was like, enough with the biotin, do something else. Um, so then I went back to my olive oil regimen, which that's how I figured out my hair loves moisture. If you get the condition the olive oil conditioner it's a yellow bottle and you're supposed to leave it in for like 15 minutes and i used i would, would put a bag over my head i keep playing with my hair because <laughs> um i would put a bag over my head and let it sit for the 15 minutes and it got really hot sometimes sometimes it didn't and then i would wash it out but then recently i started making my own concoction which i'm not sure if i put in another video or not but it was two one or two eggs mayonnaise coconut oil olive extra virgin olive oil and a little bit of this hair do grow um thing if i can find a picture of it i'll post it but um 
I'd mix all those into a little bottle, shake it up really well. Well, first I'd whisk it, then I'd shake it up and, and put it into a bottle. And then I would section my hair like, obviously you can see my hair naturally likes to split down the middle. Um, so I'd line it up and put it straight on my scalp and then like kind of like pull it up, not pulling my hair, but pulling the ingredients up throughout my hair. So it would start at the roots and then keep going. Um, what else did I do? That's pretty recent. Just now I washed with, um, so I washed with mane and tail, which is, let me see, let me see it, yeah. I washed with mane and tail and, um, I still have a lot of shampoo because I don't shampoo very often. I maybe once or twice a week, but I do condition every time I'm in the shower. Um, and I let this sit for about three to five minutes and like wash everywhere else and then wash this off. So, you probably can't hear me. <laughs> that was empty, so I gotta buy more. So, I used that and I also use Shea Moisture sometimes, sometimes and tea tree oil. And then I use this brand for like edges which I don't remember, but, like, when you're actually doing your hair, I like, I don't like how my hair, like, sticks up right here, if I just leave it, I don't like how it sticks out like that, I like it to be nice and flattened, so I do use something for those, and it also protects the baby hair, I got itchy, there's water running down the back of my head and it makes me itchy, <laughs> okay, so, yeah, that's my hair update. I'm sorry I'm all over the place. Um, I don't record with scripts. I've tried and it doesn't work <laughs> for me. Um, but I think I got everything I needed to say in the video. If I didn't, it will be like annotated on the screen. And I think I shall show you my hair journey. Okay. Bye.